Hi, my name is Stephanie Alvarez and I'm a mental health counselor at Huckleberry Youth Programs here in Marin. Um, I believe in our work um, because as an organization we cover um, through the lens of safety, health, education, and justice and all the youth work that we do. And I think now more than ever we are seeing the power that our youth have in our community to fight back against injustices and oppression. Um, so I think it's important to screen teens for mental health while they visit us in teen clinics because we want to make sure that every young person is getting complete services when they come through our doors. For example, I will often call teens to my office during their clinic visit and I make it clear that they have a voice and that there's, this is their space and if they want to talk about anything. If not, I just want to introduce myself and most importantly for them to know about the complete services that Huckleberry offers. Um, and also in screening clients, they take a questionnaire um, that asks them different mental health and um, alcohol, drug use. Um, and so if any youth screens up on that, then I would definitely talk to them and give them resources and most importantly, a space to just talk about how I can be a support to them. I would say depression, anxiety, relationship, communication issues are at the top of the list that teens encounter. Um, for example, communication is a big one um, and where I will help a young person feel empowered to take control of conversations and communicating. Um, often a lot of, of, of the relationship issues arise because there is no clear communication, whether it's between a parent or a friend. And so um, that's where I, I come in and helping them um, understand different aspects of communication. Um, and then with depression, anxiety, a big one too, those are common and they're often, um, you know, go hand in hand, unfortunately. Um, and so my work there is providing the space, again, the safe space first for them to be able to talk about and dig deeper into what's going on, um, reminding my client that this doesn't define them and that, you know, that we, we that I'm there with them to walk the journey, um, whatever that is, and we'll hold their hand and we'll only go as far as they're, they're wanting me to go. Um, especially with depression, a lot of teens, you know, kind of can really put into words what's going on and so I try to help them understand a little bit more and at the end of the day, like I said, it's, it's a journey and try to um, normalize, you know, going to therapy is very important, especially in our, my community, Latino community, um, which a lot of the clients I serve are come from Latino families and where you're not allowed to talk about um, a lot of the emotions you're going through. And so I try to normalize that for them um, in, in walking the journey with them and holding their hand while they're doing it.